This is an alligator vertebrae, fossilized, could be fairly young, maybe a, just a few hundred thousand years old, or, or perhaps millions of years old, it's, it's difficult to say. One of the better items uh, we dug up. This is a prehistoric horse tooth. Um, Mark was not sure whether this was a miniature type horse or this might have been uh, a juvenile horse. That's the chewing surface. This would be the the root and A nice find. These are fossilized shark's teeth. We didn't find a great deal of these. Uh, some places you find more than others, but uh, they say sharks uh, lose from uh, 20,000 to 40,000 teeth in a lifetime, so there should be plenty of sharks teeth out there since they've been around for at least 50 million years. Here are some uh, of the fossils we uh, were able to dig up. Uh, all three of these are uh, turtle parts of turtle shell, fossilized turtle shell, perhaps a million years old, perhaps five million years old, we don't really know. You can see some of the, uh, some of the patterns on the surface of the shell. This particular site had a, a great deal of uh, turtle uh, fossils. These were identified by Mark Renz, uh, who knows a lot about these, uh, this type of fossil. A 
written several books about it. These are fish vertebrae, fossilized fish vertebrae, found in the gravel on the bottom of the stream that we were digging in. Some of these have been bouncing around uh, in the gravel for literally millions of years and so they some of them are not in very good shape. These are stingray grinding plates. They're, they're equivalent of teeth. That's how they chew their food against these uh, serrated plates in their mouth. These are fossils of unknown age, but clearly old enough to have been fossilized, turned to stone with the uh, minerals slowly entering into the uh, material and forming stone or fossils. Here are some more fossils, miscellaneous fossils, uh, turtle, turtle shell, more turtle. In some cases, some of these may be tortoise, land tortoise as opposed to a water turtle. Turtle. Uh, a, a bone of some type. Not sure that may be turtle as well. These are broken shark's tooth. This is the top. You can see the serrated edges there on either side. The tooth would have been down here. Here's another broken shark's tooth. More turtle. I believe I believe this is turtle as well. I don't recall. Just a general piece of fossilized bone and and uh, determine it we don't know what it was. This is a megalodon tooth. This is what we are actually after. This is a, a, a fairly small megalodon tooth. They can go up to seven inches in length 
from the point to the end here and as you can imagine that would be a very impressive tooth. The megalodons are now extinct. The, uh, the great white shark is maybe a uh, an ancestor, or rather, a uh, uh, an offshoot of the uh, megalodon, and uh, if you can imagine a tooth like this slicing through muscle and bone, and uh, they were said to have 260 teeth in their mouth uh, in five rows. The serrations on this are. are just as sharp as, as they were, I think, probably when the shark was alive. This is this was found in a uh, phosphate mine in North Carolina. Uh, very sharp, very sharp tooth, and uh, it's in beautiful shape. But uh, the type that you find in rivers tend to be much darker and uh, more beaten up. Uh, from uh, rolling around in uh, the gravel for millions of years. But that's what we were after and unfortunately we didn't find any. <laughs>